welcome to another This or That Thursday. This week we're going to be talking about two very basic machines that we see a lot of beginners get. So we see a lot of people purchase one for their grandchild or maybe they're a little bit nervous and don't want to dive too deep into sewing yet but just want to find a machine that's fun and will be durable for them. Both of these are going to be fantastic options. So in front of me here I've got the Burnett B33 and I've also got the Brother Pace Setter 300T. Both of them are going to be a great machine that's easy to learn on, not too intimidating, but has some fun features on them. So I'm going to start with the Burnett B33 over here. This guy, you will probably notice, looks more like a mechanical machine. It's only got a couple of decorative stitches that you pick on the knobs here, and you can change your stitch length, which is really nice. Your reverse button is also an actual little lever. And my personal favorite, it has a needle threader on it. So it makes it a lot easier when you're switching from different threads to a different project to actually thread that needle. It does have a pretty decent motor in there and it is just a really good basic machine. Now, not everybody wants a completely mechanical machine though because nowadays they're in the more new fancy computerized machines, which is where the brother PS300T comes in. So, this pace setter here does have about 100 decorative stitches and alphabetical stitches, which is kind of fun because then you can label saying made with love or whatever you want to do. It also has a needle threader, which of course I think is super necessary, and Brother makes it very, very easy and intuitive to thread. The Burnett does it as well, but the Brother has a little bit better graphics on the actual machine so that you have a reminder without having to grab your book or anything. Um, the Brother also has a feature that I use a lot because I have a nice giant dog at home who is very, very sweet, but he knows when he stomps on the foot control, he gets attention very quickly. It's actually got a stop start button on the front here. So myself, I think that is just a really cool feature and a lot of people really like it because you can also adjust your speed control. So if you are teaching a grandchild how to sew and you don't want them to be going at the speed of light when they're sewing, you can adjust that to be really slow so that you have more control of the needle so that no disasters happen. They both are gonna drive very smooth and be very great and be good for any type of projects. I'm always curious what kind of projects that, you know, beginner sewers are into. I know for me, it was a crazy witch costume, which was a little more ambitious than I probably should have, but it turned out really fun. So, always, let us know what you're thinking about. Let us know, or send us pictures if you want to show us what projects you started on. It's always really fun to see where we started and where we are. So like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And once again, thank you for joining me on this This or That Thursday.